Brothers Gaming. Hello, folks, and welcome back to the third episode of RimWorld on Bob Brothers Gaming with Evad. Last time we decided to build some uh, uh, bedrooms here for the good old colonists. And uh, as far as I can tell, we are succeeding in doing so. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Power's going off. T turn on the wood. Turn on the wood. No? Still not good enough? Is that still not good enough for you? Okay, there we go. No! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> we need more solar generators, I think. I don't think they produce as much electricity as they used to. Do a wind turbine. Sure, let's do some wind turbines. Way too extreme for someone to create on their own but hey whatever all right so we need to really focus on research so Myers you know what to do okay so these suckers will only spin when it, it winds blowing really well and it's not right now Blocked by poplar tree. Chop down that poplar tree. There's something going on. There's something different. Okay. So now they're really starting to blow. That's good. I like when things blow. Ha <laughs> ha. Joke. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Alright. So. Let's build that. So one thing I like to do. So I like to have one wall that is built here so I have a way to run electricity back there without because colonists do not like seeing electricity lines they think it's very disgusting I don't get it if I saw an electricity line I would just be happy it exists but that's just me I'm way too what's the word pragmatic I guess Deconstruct. <laughs> Alright, so now we got microelectronic basics. Basics of working with delicate complex electronics. The un this unlocks high-tech research bench bench bench. I'm struggling today, folks. I gotta get back in the talking. Comms console and other research projects like tube televisions and cryo sleep caskets. Alright. Now we can sleep forever if we want to. <laughs> uh, ooh, brewing. Let's see. Craft guns. That would be useful. Let's do it. Huh. <laughs> Marriage is on. Aw, Seer has accepted... Uh, Vlad's marriage proposal. At some point in coming to the season, they will have their ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. Cool. That's new. Because remember, they fell in love. This is an ongoing love story between Vlad and Seer. Wonder if... Wonder if there's gonna be an eloption. Is that the term? Eloption? I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> winter is coming. Still the summer. Once winter rolls around, we should be getting some snow instead of rain. Okay. So, I think for these rooms... I'm going to restrict work. I'm going to start giving them set work schedules. There we go. So now they'll work from 8 to 20. 8 to 8. 12 hour. 12 hour work day. 
It's different when you're working for yourself. Working for someone else, it sucks. You know. It's basically... Oh no! Vlad got the flu. Oh wait, Vlad's a girl? Interesting. <laughs> It'd be interesting if you could get like... Uh, fundamentalist or something <laughs> like <laughs> really religious people so then when like Seer and Vlad get married they're like no my bigotry restricts me from accepting you alright and we will reinstall this the bedrooms are coming along that's good that's good get those rocks out We'll eventually turn those rocks into bricks. Okay, now that the wooden wall's there, we can run a power line back through there. There we go. Put some little bit of lights back there. So you can see where you're going. Perfect. Oh. So. <laughs> we have a tame rabbit. Interesting. <laughs> we have a pet rabbit, everyone. <laughs> Alright. Might just eat it. I don't know. <laughs> we got plenty of food. So, I think we should, oh, why are these on? Turn those power hogs off. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, here comes the snow. All right, so, it's just, it's just a freezing point. <coughs> so, now we'll set a snow so our crops are probably just about done even though it's still summer it's snowing okay i didn't know we were that far north so we'll th what i'm doing now is i'm setting a snow clear area because you get a speed penalty in the snow so you got to keep shit clear man Band snow. Okay. Eventually we'll make a sidewalk. And we'll eventually start... Uh, <coughs> damn it, what is wrong with me? We'll eventually start um, building sidewalks. Well, I think we'll actually do that fairly soon. As soon as these bedrooms are finished. Install these back here so everyone has a bedroom. Even if they are small right now before they get dug out. You got a nice little bunker there. Right? Uh, see, this is the problem. Myers is a nut job, so... Let's just let her do her thing. What's her needs? She's crowded, cabin fever... Slept in the cold. Ah, these rooms need heaters. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, now it's 56 degrees outside. Okay. <laughs> Guess it was just like a night snow thing. It's snowing at 53 degrees. Great. <laughs> Put 
Put some lights in there for you. Very cool. So now everyone has their own bedroom. Except Vlad, he's battling the flu. Fall's begun. And electricity coming from the sky. Great. Alright, so I think we should start working on hydroponics. That would be good to grow, like, back here in the mountain. Because you can grow that inside, as you well know. As you should well know. Do you know what hydroponics are? They're basically crops that grow on top of water. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've seen it actually firsthand for my job. It's expensive, but it's awesome. If you have the money to set it up, it's definitely worth the investment. Blood has had the flu. What the hell? Did I just never click that off? It could be. Alright. So we're going to smooth this floor out. Actually, damn it, don't smooth the floor out yet, that takes forever. Just mine. <laughs> That's what you gotta do, man. Just gotta murder. Rabbit wants to be food, I think. It's hanging out in the freezer. Who is Myers is doing research? It's taking forever, man. So these bedrooms are almost finished. Thank goodness. We can move on to other things. Oh, you know what we should research? I'm not sure how to do that. Might be under machining. <coughs> they changed everything around. Vlad, go get sleep. You have the flu. Go lay down. <laughs> How's your health? Alright. He's soon through it. Oh, we got another wanderer joining us. Snap! <laughs> Best n name ever. Oh wow, actually, a really gonna be a really awesome asset. Are you? Yes, you're really good at cooking. Sons, looks like we found us a new cook. And you're good at smithing and tailoring. That's always good. All right, so let's get a idea of what the c equipment situation is in our colony. Okay, so you got t-shirt and pants, so you're good. You only have tribal wear. You only have tribal wear. You're good. So we need two things of clothing. So let's build a... Where is it at? There it is. Electronic... Because we still have that cat skin, right? Yeah. <coughs> I, I thought I told you to build a light in here. Uh, he needs electricity. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, didn't see that before. Power switch. Turn these on. Put it on a power switch. That way you only have to hit one switch. Boom. Done. Easy as cake. Cake! So we'll get this steel pulled out of here. And then we'll seal up the wall. There we go. 
Perfect. So, the bedrooms are about finished now. Eventually, oh no, Vlad, get out of there. Now, Vlad, don't lock yourself in there again. Thank you. So, there is a good... Alright, so we should probably just change that to a non-medical, since now we have another person here. And we will haul these out. And got the floors. Gotta smooth those out now. So this is all about, you know, managing a colony. Defending it. Probably could have turned up the difficulty a little bit. But I didn't. What is this? Compacted machinery. I'm not sure what that is. Let's mine it. See what happens. That might be just components or something. Okay, so now that this is, we should make two t-shirts and make two pants. Whose job would that be? He's a good tailor. Snap's a good tailor! <laughs> we'll make Snap the tailor. Cargo pods, what fell? Jade. Ooh, fancy. Should be able to sell that for some. <coughs> Maybe make a statue out of it? That'd be cool. Uh-oh. We got us a raid. Two, three, four, five... Turn those on. Where's the raid coming from? Oh man, they got a assault rifle and a shotgun. This is getting, it's getting intense, man. Getting real intense. Put you over there, snap. I don't know how your sight lines are gonna be, but. Stay come around the corner, stab him. And there, and Myers, we still don't have a Good, good weapon for you, but whatever. All right. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Get out of here. Get out of here, Wade. Where's Wade? Get out of here, Wade. All right. Now you strip her. Still don't really have the means of capturing people. Oh, there's a nice shotgun. Well, decent shotgun. Better than a, uh, a mace. Well, you're a brawler, so. So I'm gonna strip these guys. There you go. Oh no. So a random event just happened. Uh, now all the female colonists will wince in pain. <laughs> it's not just because I'm around. All right, so that's... Very cool. Let's, let's do that. All right, so that was defended. All right, so now I would guess we're just going to let them bleed out. I think I should build a prison at this point. I think we're just about at that time. Well, one thing's for sure. We need a new bedroom. Let's do that. So one thing I recently got into, and everyone's gonna slaughter me for this, is Game of Thrones. Yes, I have not really gotten into that. Uh, haven't really, eh. <laughs> Pop filter's falling down. 
Hang on. Okay. Uh, one thing I've not getting gotten into is Game of Thrones. Now, it's not really like by choice. It just kind of that's kind of just the way it played out. And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it so far. Really enjoyed it. Oh no, we've got beavers. Okay, so we gotta hunt these suckers because they will eat all of the trees, all of them. Invasive species are a bugger. Does Snap have a gun? Yeah, Snap. Snap has a gun. So with these guys, I do not want melees attacking them. Myers, that means you. Okay, so let's get Myers out of the hunting business. Or yeah, where's hunting? There it is. You're done. Stone, you are in the hunting business. Steer. Steer's a freaking crazy woman with a pistol, so I'm just gonna let her stay back at base. They're eating, cooking. Getting ready. Oh, we're low on food. Well, that's about to change with all of those beavers, so that's good. Alright, got that done. Let's see, what should be... I really want... Find a way to mine faster. I know that's a thing. Where's it at? I know it has to be on this list. <sighs> Where's it at? Geothermal. Maybe I'm missing it? Did they take it out? I'm sure I'm seeing it. I'm sure it's here and I'm just missing it. Has to be. Or maybe it just hasn't appeared yet. Let's try that. Smithing. Okay, so they're starting to kill the beavers. Bam, bam, bam! <laughs> Damn you, invasive species! Damn you! Clean those bodies up. Who else is on hunting duty? Stone. And... Snap! Snap, just hunt, please. Thank you. <sighs> Bam, bam, bam. Hey, get out of my way from my food, boar. You're a boar. You're a boar. Uh, okay, so let's make this stockpile zone a little bit bigger because we're going to get a pretty big influx of beavers, beaver corpses. Uh, don't worry, we've got enough food. We'll be all right. Just gotta, just gotta field dress them. Who's shooting? He <laughs> get in a sleeping beaver. Go home. <laughs> it's because it's dark out and it's raining. They get penalties. Alright, who's supposed to be mining? Who's Vlad? What are you doing? Don't you want you in a bedroom? Don't you want a bedroom, Vlad? Come on. I know you got an adorable rabbit and Corgi or er, Yorkshire beside you. But you gotta. You, you just gotta, you know? You gotta finish it. Oh, you're wearing tribal wear. That's right. Does Snap have clothes? Yeah, she's good. Cloth pants. Uh, Vlad is constructing. I switch that around for now. Uh oh, got another another raid. 
one, two, three, four. Okay, I think everyone's accounted for. Only three of them, I think. Yeah. Oh, they're getting better. To be expected, but still. Oh no, they're coming that way. Shoot! There you go. Good! Awesome. Shot them all. Fantastic. Strip them all. Got a... Wow. wow. <laughs> they got submachine guns. Nice. So let's take that. That. It's better than it's better than a pistol, I think. A pistol. Turn that off. Save us some electricity. All right. We should soon invest in some uh, cremation. I'm curious to see what comes. Ah, I knew it. it was just components. Very cool. There's a lot here. Damn. We'll keep digging into that. See what we come up. Actually, ignore that for now. This was what we need to concentrate on. Gotta get Vlad a home. Ho, 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 ho. Well, they should. They're married, so. I'm confused. Shouldn't Seer and Vlad. Like, sleep together? Share a bedroom? Right? I don't know. Oh, that would be why. Needs a double bed. Let's do it. See if they sleep together. They should. You would think the logic applies. So they will also meditate. So anyway, this has been the end. I think I've gone over time here. I've lost track of time. This has been Ethan on Bub Brothers Gaming playing RimWorld. This has been the third episode. As you can see, things are developing. Now what will happen next? We are entering the mid-game, I believe, at this point. Um, so things going to change. Things going to change. By that, I mean things are going to get bigger and we're going to get new things to do. And other things like that, like trading. Anyway, catch you tomorrow.